this weekend we're going to get the biggest fight in women's history Amanda Serrano versus Katie Taylor I mean this is this is as big as it gets no matter how you slice it two of the top three women boxers today and this will be Katie Taylor's toughest opponent since she went up against Delphine Pursun who took Katie Taylor to the limits a lot of people thought she lost to her and uh Amanda Serrano, seven division world champion. A lot of people consider her the Manny Pacquiao of the women's uh, boxing. Katie Taylor ain't seen nothing like this. But at the same time, Amanda Serrano hasn't seen anything like Katie Taylor. And it's, it's going to be a great fight. In my opinion, Amanda Serrano has been underrated, underappreciated. People just don't give this woman the credit she deserves. Seven division world champion. It's really only three women you can put in the stratosphere of Amanda Serrano. And some are arguing better or greater, whatever. Uh, Cecilia Breakers, Katie Taylor, and Clarissa Shields. That's it. And if she puts Katie Taylor in that L column, she'll probably be the number one women's boxer today, if she isn't already. Once again, seven division world champion. Straight killer puts all kinds of pressure on the opponent, and she's fighting for payback for the loss that Katie Taylor, the beat Katie Taylor, Beat on her, on her sister, so it's not just a it's not just a fight. It's, 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 it got a little personal backstory behind it too. But with all that being said, you have another fight on this card that should be spoken of highly as well. And nobody's talking about it, and that is Ellen Cedar Rose versus Franchon Cruz Desern. This might be the most slept on, underrated, least talked about, undisputed fight in the history of boxing. You have two women fighting for undisputed at 168, and nobody said a peep about it. Ellen Cedar Rose jumped on the scene a couple years back when she upset Alicia Napoleon Espinosa. <laughs> yeah, she rocked her right there. And uh, some of y'all might know who the HH Diva is. She only got one loss, and that is uh, to Clarissa Shields. She's highly decorated. And uh, I think she's a two time champion 160, 168, something like that. And arguably, Clarissa Shields' toughest fight, arguably. And uh, I look forward to this. They were supposed to co main with Cambosa versus Teofimo Lopez, but because the fight kept getting rescheduled, it wound up off of the card. So this is like a double dip in the women's boxing with Katie Taylor and Amanda Serrano, and then you have Undisputed for 168. Like I said, nobody's talking about it. Nobody, I haven't heard anybody really pushing this fight. And Ellen Cedar Rose, could have the best jab in women's boxing. I mean, she has a beautiful jab and a lovely straight right to come right behind it. So it's, it's going to be an interesting fight. I think the styles is going to is going to make for a terrific fight. Like I said, Ellen, she liked to work from the outside, and the HH Diva, Franchon Cruz Desern. She likes to get inside and put on pressure on her opponents. So I, I think it's gonna it's gonna be a good fight. You, you're gonna see a pressure fighter versus uh basically a classy boxer puncher. So we we go we gonna see some fireworks. We definitely are gonna see some fireworks. And uh I can't wait. <laughs> That's pretty much all I got. This hair buster box is old fight doctor. Hit that like button, hit that share button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. 
hit me up in the comment section let me know are you interested not just in the katie taylor but amanda serrano fight but the hh diva french sean cruz discern going up against ellison or cedar rose this is a highly underrated fight and like i said once again you got all the straps on the line in this match. Why is nobody talking about it? Well, I'm talking about it. And that's pretty much all I got. This is Hair Boxing on Fight Dr. I am out.